important reality in today's age of information technology is the spread of fake news and misinformation instantly and on a global scale. As I said on many occasions, INEC does not believe in censorship. The best antidote to fake news is greater openness and transparency. It is in furtherance of this policy that the Commission interfaces regularly with stakeholders through our regular consultative meetings. We appreciate our partnership with the media, and I want to reassure you that INEC will continue to work very closely indeed with you. We welcome your reports, commentaries, and analysis on elections in particular and electoral activities in general. More specifically, some of the innovations introduced by the Commission to improve service delivery to the electorate, ensure the safety and security of journalists, and grant journalists unimpeded access to various locations during elections and electoral activities, draw from your reports, as well as the suggestions and recommendations made during our quarterly meetings. I urge you to be a bulwark against fake and misleading uh, fake news and misleading narratives about the commission. Together, we must uphold the sanctity of the ballot box and safeguard the democratic aspirations of our nation. It is hoped that our collective efforts would pave the way for a brighter, more prosperous future for all Nigerians. Having become more like a family in this gathering, we must carry forward the spirit of collaboration and dedication to democratic principles. We must continue to work hand in hand, united in our pursuit of a more just, inclusive, and democratic society.